Some of you already know this, but I actually met Kate 30,000 feet in the air. I was flying back from the Dubai 24 hour race with the lads, but ended up sat on my own, bored and ready for 8 hours of misery. So to lift my spirits, I looked to see who I'd be sitting next to, and I couldn't believe what I saw. I had a fat bald bloke <laughs> and a paralytic scouse lady, but obviously much to the unsatisfaction. Luckily, a few rows back, the lads had found themselves sat next to a certain young lady who happened to be travelling back from Australia and Dion was well underway with what would end up being Kate's induction into the family. As you'll agree, Kate looked stunning today, but she also looked stunning when I met her. Even though she'd already spent 14 hours on a plane, there she was, in a hoodie, with no makeup, wearing three quarter length leggings and just shaved the bottom inch of her legs. <laughs> But she still looked absolutely incredible. Dion, who's been like a big brother to me since I was 15, called me back to, to meet Kate and squeezed onto the row with the pair of them. He didn't know the time he was changing my life, but I will always be grateful that he did. Me and Kate got on right away, just like I was meeting a long lost friend. The time flew by as we talked about anything and everything, a skill that she proudly inherited from her mother. <laughs> Soon, despite having only known me a few hours, Kate fell asleep on my arm, which was probably quite an accurate assessment of my chat at that point. <laughs> I plucked up the courage to ask her out while we waited for our bags at the airport, and she said yes. With a flash of her amazing smile, the smile I fell in love with then, and every single day since. There's uh, um, one final picture, and it's because uh, it's for the person who has done everything for Kate. Um, no, she still does, uh, and she's, from the day she was born, she's not sure there, and she deserves all the credit, and that's her mum. And that's this one here. Oh. Now, Now one thing's going to happen after this, uh, Sandy is going to recalibrate me because she's going to say, why did you put that one up there? Because there's hundreds of beautiful photographs. But the reason I've done it is because that is the two of them together. They are like two peas in a the pod. They really are. And it, it's, uh, that's the reason for doing it really. Um, and uh, actually Josh has said on a couple of occasions that um, Kate is just like her mother. Now given that's his mother-in-law, he still married her. <laughs> so, um, but there's a lovely thing to say, but he's absolutely true. Because there's two things from that what's going to happen for Josh. And number, oh, nothing bad. Number one, you will laugh every single day of your life about something. And secondly, you know, you're going to have the best friend you could ever wish to have which is a fantastic thing to have for a long and happy marriage. And I have no doubt you were going to help that. And I wish you all the very best. And if I could raise a toast to Kate and Josh. And thank you. To end, I would like to give one final thank you to my incredible wife, Kate. Who I knew was the one from the moment I laid eyes on her. You've honestly made me the happiest man in the world. And I promise to be whatever you need me to be, whenever you need it. So, without further ado, ladies and gents, please could we raise a glass to my beautiful wife, to Kate.
Falling in love is a strange work of art. 